Hey, we back. I'm here on Discord, and today we're talking about finding users uh, through their user ID, that is. Now, this is actually kind of hard. Obviously, if you have mutual servers with them, messages with them, stuff like that, then this is not the case. However, sometimes you want to find an account that you might not have a mutual server with, and one excellent example of this is with Karuta. Let's suppose I just used a trace to find this rem and I wanted to buy it, it's going to tell me who it's owned by and it's going to give me their ID. But this isn't particularly helpful because I can't right click on this and then DM the person to ask about buying it because it only has their ID. Now there is a few ways to find out who this person is and I don't want to make this a Karuta specific uh, guide here. You can use this to find any user you fancy. Uh, Karuta is just a good example. Now, of course in Karuta there's a couple of ways of getting around this such as this user is probably in the Karuta hub and it's probably just not loading. I do have a mutual server with them. I can go and check in that server, find messages from them and then it'll load. Also we had a ka feature here uh, where if you press the little magnifying glass it'll tell me who owns the card. It'll give me their uh, name and ID, profile picture, all the rest of it and that's very helpful. But again I don't want to to make this a Karuda specific guide, so let's try a different method. Firstly, there are actually some bots out there that can give you this information that you want. I believe Tatsumaki can do it, although you have to have a mutual server with them anyway, which is a little points. Uh, there's probably a couple of other bots that can. I actually made one bot myself to do this because I couldn't be bothered to find out one myself. Um, and so if we do this, you can see it'll give me uh, the name and the ID. What I can do with this information if I want is I can go into add friend, I can add them as a friend, um, and then it'll pop up into pending and I can right click and discover their profile here. We can see whether I've got any mutual servers, see if I can send a message, and then if I actually do have mutual servers I can just cancel that friend request and we're all sorted. However, the main reason I'm here today is to tell you about the actual easiest way to find this information, because what you can do, you can type this handy dandy link down here, uh, which I will probably pop into the description, uh, which will actually directly link you to the the account. So you can see we've got Discord, we've got the colon slash slash, a little uh, wiggly line is that, or maybe just a dash, kind of hard to see, users, and then the ID. You can put any ID you like in here, as you can see, we've just picked this ID here. And then when we click on that link, it directly takes me to that user's profile. We can see their profile picture, we can see their name, we can see any mutual servers, and unsurprisingly they are indeed in the Karuta hub and all the rest of it. I can send them a friend request if I want, I can send them a DM if I want, anything I fancy. And that is definitely the best way to find a user. Uh, like I say, you can put any ID you like in here. If you are on Chrome or mobile or something like that, it may direct you uh, to your browser first, but it should still open up the profile, uh, which is really nice and very helpful. Uh, worth noting though, if you do want to actually have this be pasted into Discord, if I just send this by itself, it actually doesn't it doesn't embed and then you can't click on it. You would then have to paste that into your browser and do all of that. It would be a bit of a hassle. If you want it to embed like this, you just need to pop those brackets around it, the, the square brackets. You see then it turns blue like that and if I send it now it's going to embed. Uh, so that is worth noting bit weird, um, but if you think about it, this is the same as how it works with other fancy ID tricks. Um, for example, pinging them with ID, if you surround that by the square brackets, it will ping them. Of course, they're not even in this server, but you still can ping them. Then you can click on their profile like this, but if it wasn't loading up here, it's not going to load when you do this. You have to have looked at their profile so it's got it cached so that it can actually load like this. Uh, so this is the way that you do it. There you go. That's the link. Like I say, I will put this little format in the description, probably replace the ID with my own ID, um, just so I'm not randomly putting this rem owner in the, uh, the description of my video that might be a little weird uh, but anyway yeah there you go uh, that's the link you're looking for and that is the best way to do it having a bot for it is great and having a mutual server already and searching in it is great you know ka uh, functions and are great but actually this is the best way to do it right here uh, very easy i would highly recommend uh, storing this link somewhere if you are uh, going to be looking for users often it is very helpful to have on hand uh, but anyway i will be leaving this video here bye